<laughs> Bill, an organization you take a lot of pride in, no pun intended, uh, this Saturday, Berkeley Community Pride has a clean paper drive coming they up. They do, they yeah. do, yes. Are sir. you involved in this one? No, I'm not. That's the, uh, well, it's all part of the same, uh, same umbrella, but they're mm -hmm. they're collecting near uh, uh, near Quad. Not Quad, I'm sorry, near the uh, uh, VA uh, yeah. Center, v yeah. behind the VA Center. 871 yeah. Baker Road. Yeah. Uh, that's this Saturday from 8 until noon. Yeah. Clean paper and cardboard. Uh, and by the way, you can take your stuff there. And then every other month we do it at Quad. Now, Mary Beth Blair yes. was instrumental in our early days of Berkeley Community Pride. Yes. She uh, she developed a brochure for us, and that logo. cry folder, mm -hmm. that still one of the nicest yeah. brochures I think I've well, seen. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what gosh. she does. That goes back a long way. It ways. goes back a long time, probably 20, yeah. 21, 22 years mm -hmm. ago. So, yeah. now, I want everybody in the room to, to know you can feel safe this morning because yesterday I completed my research for uh, CPR oh, good. for adults, children, and infants. Well, you so, know what? Uh, we everybody need slot you. yourself in one yeah. of those three but categories. Okay. Well, we need you to head down to the Berkeley County Youth Fair then because l yesterday when they had one of the first exhibitor contests, it was the Donate Eating Contest, mm -hmm. we waited for 15 minutes for the EMT to get there because you have to have an EMT on site in case someone <laughs> chokes on their donut. Yeah. Oh, I, Where I, were you, Rob? I know how to do that. I'm <laughs> skilled in that now. Rob covers all covered all the demographics except seniors. I'm so sorry. John and I are feeling a little left out right now. Well, you guys will be covered under children. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's give an official good morning to Mary Beth Blair, who all week long is with us in the eight o'clock slot, and all week long is at the youth fair yes, with sir. our, uh, along with Lexi, anchoring our TV coverage down there. Yes, we are. We're having a great time. It was great to be back after a rain day. Uh, we were back to back with live events in the arena, and the youth fair grounds was packed last night great. for the rodeo. It was a great night. It wasn't too warm. I mean, it was just a nice di summer day. It was now, really good. The the tractor pull got rained out. Is that On being Monday. is that being made up no, at all? No, it, it you know that particular tractor pull there's four or five different pulls throughout the week and that one was a professional group that comes in and a lot of people really enjoy that one east coast pulling yeah. but they're booked up for the you know and also we have not really there's no other track opening there's something every night of the week so oh, that's kind of tough to reschedule those events when they get rained out mary beth what's the difference between a professional tractor puller and our well, local folks <laughs> Haley may be able to speak a little bit more to that. She's more of a seasoned youth fairer than me, but, and I get kind of stuck up in the yeah, arena with all yeah. the animal and livestock shows, but from what I, my limited knowledge, the, so for example, on Saturday, there was the four state garden tractor pull. Sunday was the BCYF tractor um, pull tractor and truck pull um, and then there's a mini pool on Thursday and so this East Coast one is a professional group that goes around and they do shows so they're they're bringing in these big 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 rigs and okay. they are um, they are professionals and they have uh, large large uh, trucks that are pulling and it's a different type of show so on Sunday the the BCYF tractor is put together by all the folks at the Berkeley County Youth Fair so it's it's you want to weigh in on that too Haley yeah so let's say good morning to Haley Silkworth oh, sorry, by yes, the way yes. give us her, her <laughs> official introduction, introduction yeah. good morning yes, Haley good morning good morning yeah, yeah. yeah so that was well explained um I'm not really like a truck pool watching <laughs> person I'll tell you that but just like she said I think it's very professional um it's more like they travel than if you would bring in like a person that signs up and say, oh, I'm going to pull my tractor today. <laughs> well, 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 if, if they're professional, I presume that, that means they're paid as opposed exactly. to what well, yes. the others done. How are they paid? Do they have contests and they get by in prizes, or do they get paid so much per hour? It's, How does that work? The, a group like that, just like the rodeo, they're paid a flat fee to come in and put on a show. Okay, so got it, got it's, it. um, So just like tonight, we're bringing in a group called uh, Flat Out Freestyle. It's a new, it's the very first time we've done this event, and it's a BMX uh, bike motocross event, and they have a show. They bring in all their equipment and their ramps and their bikers, and they will put on a very high-energy uh, motocross show so that yes yeah, so they're paid to come in and put these shows on just like the rodeo was as well last night yeah I understand the professional part paying that yes but is it, 
is the equipment larger? That's what kind of a, a you alluded yes. to it earlier. So that that would be the, uh, one of the differences right. between the two, just much larger, yes. more powerful equipment. Exactly. Okay. And I've been we we keep posting highlights from the days, so you have to check out the page and see the difference between yeah. the two different pools. Yeah. Although we won't have photos from Monday nights, that's mm -hmm. one thing. But anyways, let's get the Haley yes. Silkworth story. Haley let's is a it. rising. Now that we've pretty much. <laughs> Split all the hairs we can on what's a professional yes. puller versus not. Uh, Haley is a rising junior at Spring Mills High School. Yes. Yeah, and, and Haley, tell us uh, all the different things that you're involved in because your resume lists at least four things <laughs> when you're in leadership. Yes. Yeah, so um, through school, I'm involved in a Caring Cardinals. That is where um, the general education comes together with the special needs mm -hmm. and does educational activities with them, make them feel included with the general education. Um, I'm also involved with my FFA chapter where I am the chaplain of the officer team. And we've I've done numeral competitions through FFA. Um, I've done, I just started livestock judging. Um, we have our senior team that is state champions through 4-H and FFA. So they're great role models to look up yeah, to. It's right. hard to be good like them, but I'm trying. <laughs> you doing a great job. Yes, yeah. yes. And then I also did prepared public speaking this past year where I went to states and competed for that. That is where I wrote a six to eight minute speech and then presented that to judges and then questions followed. My topic was um, African swine fever. African swine fever. Yes. I was going to pick that one too when I was uh, <laughs> thinking of speeches to do on the show, but you beat me to it. <laughs> did, did you also show, did you yes. show this year? I did. I showed a pig t this year at the Berkeley County Youth Fair. And what was the pig's name? Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> nice Italian pig. I yeah. like that. <laughs> and, and, and how did Bruno do? Bruno did well, so um, I went in. My first class was showmanship because that's what they usually do first. Um, and then I actually had the opportunity to go back in for the final dry. Mm -hmm. um, and then my pig kind of gave up on me a little tired, but that's okay. <laughs> we still made it to the final drive. And actually, I think that's been like the first time I ever went back for showmanship. Um, so that was a huge accomplishment for myself. Haley, you are strikingly mature for a rising junior. So <laughs> Thank you. Yes. whatever you're doing, keep doing it <laughs> because you're doing great. And, and congrats yeah. to everyone involved yeah. in, in helping you get to this point. I have to ask this question. It was, you know, you, every year I pick up something when I'm there at the fair, something I didn't know, uh, facts about uh, prepping your animal for the ring. And so last night was the old timer showmanship, which is so much fun because if you've aged out, you're 22 and older, you can com come back and compete. So anywhere from, I mean, 22, I'd say all the way up to, I don't know, 50s. 60 year olds are in the <laughs> ring and they come in and there's they have a fun time of showing all the different species and when the pigs were out there at the very end like they they did one um class and then they picked the top and they they kind of were off to the side well then they they called and uh, for someone to bring water they said these pig are getting overheated and they came and they sprayed them down and they were and i was like I didn't think they did that much work in the ring and they just walked around the <laughs> ring a couple of times. And I'm like, I'm going to ask Haley tomorrow. Wow. What? I mean, it, it's a, is it really taxing on these, these animals on the, on the, well, on well the their body, their body mass oh. is so great. Yeah. yeah. And anytime it's a little bit warm, they would, Oh sure. That would wow. make sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like usually like a typical day at home, you're fine. Cause it's not really much, but I, kid you not i feel like fair week is always the hottest week for these animals <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so it's important that they don't overheat so you water them down you give them drinks like even like i was class five for showmanship and then i went back in after the seventh class for the final drive and my pig was still kind of panting a little bit wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's definitely tiring for the pigs and so how do you remember how many classes there were total it was a large show oh yes i know just for senior showmanship again there was seven um market. i think uh market it went by weight okay. so it was a lightweight division well underweight division then lightweight 
medium weight and then heavy weight. And when she's talking classes, so you're, I mean, like they can only bring in so many into the ring at a time. So yes. they bring in a slew and that's class one. Yep. And then the judge will say, okay, out of this class, I like this one, this one, this one. They're going to come back for the final drive. Or, yes. or the, and so then yep. the second class, the third. And so, yep. and so he picks out of each one, he'll pick people, pigs that he thinks are the top in that class that meet, you know, the criteria. And then they all come back, like Haley said, for the final drive. And so that's a pretty big deal if you've gotten picked out of your your class to then come back and do the final drive. And from there, they pick the top. The young lady that was here on Monday made the comment that uh, Hampshire's were the pig of choice because the markings made it much easier for oh, the judges mm -hmm. to recognize the character of the of the pig, and that's st the markings stuck out. Uh -huh. I I found that to be very interesting. So, yes. what type of pig do you have, Haley? I have a crossbred. I have a crossbred. Yep. Okay. Of what of what? A hamp. Hampshire. A Hampshire. Okay, yeah. so it has the Hampshire markings in. Yep. So okay. it's like yeah. a belted. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Black and white pig. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite pig's always the blue butts. They <laughs> have like the blue color. Those are really yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why is that your favorite pig? I think the color stands out. Um, actually, there was a little boy yesterday that was showing that had a blue pig, and if you put it up to like um, a Duroc or. Uh, Hampshire or any type, I feel like that's the one that stands out, and that's what I really like. Besides, Rob, <laughs> she's she's wearing blue, just like yeah. I am. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the pig personality. Hunter Dunham was in on uh, Monday. Uh, Garrett Glassford yesterday. Yeah. They've all had interesting stories about their animals <laughs> and pig personality too. From Hunter, uh, she gave us some good insight on that. What do you know about it? So yeah. Um, I've, I've done pigs for probably four years now, maybe. Um, so it's definitely a learning process each year. You always learn something new. Um, I didn't really know, like, like what you said back to, like, the markings and stuff. I didn't know, like, any of that until this past year from the livestock team. Like, you learn a lot through years, but um, taking care of your pig and all that good stuff is important. Yeah. Do you yeah. end up... Do a lot of the kids end up kind of like specializing in one animal that you kind of are drawn to more or work with better? Yeah. Um, I've only done three species throughout my 4-H career. I plan, hopefully, to get involved with more to get that experience. Um, but ever since I was nine years old, I think it's always been pig is my favorite. I'm not sure why, but... <laughs> Do you, do you know what you want to do once you're done with high school? I do. I want to um, go to Hagerstown Community College and then hopefully become a dental hygienist. I thought you were going to say you wanted to go to the University of Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to stay close to home. <laughs> Free pig. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about your family's involvement in the fair. You, a lot of your family is involved, correct? Yes. Yeah. So I believe if I'm correct, she may, if she's watching this right now, she may correct me if I'm wrong. But if I remember correctly, my aunt showed when she was younger. And I think that's all how our family got started. Uh -huh. um, and then the her kids kind of got involved. And then the cousins got involved. And then... I started to attend the 4-H meetings and do my duties there of where it was needed. And then I guess I just followed in my sister and cousin's footsteps. And I was like, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> now, are your pigs on your property or do you have a farm you go to to care for them? Yeah. So actually, we have friends that let us keep them. Actually, Manor Concrete, they have a little farm um, and they let us keep our pigs there. So, That's nice of them. Yes. Yeah. What's your aunt's name, Haley? Jennifer. Jennifer what? Silkworth. Okay, Jennifer Silkworth. If you're there, make sure you post on our Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there uh, younger siblings and cousins that will follow in your footsteps? So I have a little cousin. His name's Carter, and we're hoping he actually has done like all the Pee Wee shows, yeah. and he's really good at it. So I'm hoping he falls in that footstep. He says he wants to do a lamb. So. We shall see if yeah. the mom says okay to that one. <laughs> now, you mentioned you've done three species. What three species have you done? Yeah, so when I was little, I did bunnies. My mom said, let's start off small, and then we'll work <laughs> our way up. So I did that for, I think, two years. And then um, I did a lamb one year, and then obviously pigs. <laughs> What's on your schedule for today? 
Um, well, the day usually runs kind of like it hits you like, hey, I need you to do this. Um, but I know our Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair, Amelia, is very busy showing today, actually. So I'll f fulfill her position of what she's needed and make sure that she's always okay. Mm -hmm. And if she needs any help, I'm obviously there to help her. <laughs> and, and one of the things that Haley ends up doing when Miss Youth Fair or whoever is in that position, um, they give out all the ribbons and they're yes. in all the pictures. And yep. so, and I know that sounds like a minor thing, but if you were <laughs> to watch a show online, well, watch one of our shows, you'll see either Haley or Miss Youth Fair or one of the other top five girls walking around following the exhibitors. They put the, there's ribbons given to every person on the, in their exhibitor, like, look, what do you call that? The vest that you, they wear on the back with their number? Yeah, yeah. So um, they're following them in the, the yeah. ring. They're putting a ribbon in each one of them, and then they watch, they listen for the judge. They have all the, you know, the various first, second, thirds, and, and grands and reserves, and they have to go and find the exhibitor, and they tag them. And, and it's a, it, they're yeah. really, they're, it's, it's more than just getting in a, a photo and holding a ribbon or presenting yeah. it. It's, it's work. It's a lot. So yeah. she is, I've seen her every day that I'm down there. I see Haley in the ring doing something, helping in some way. <laughs> So she's been a very, very, very busy young lady this you, week. Yes. You mentioned earlier that the old timers show uh -huh. as well. Uh, how how involved are the youth as they get older? How involved do they stay with the well, family? Well, from my experience, Haley can speak to this as well. Everybody there that volunteers for the most part, I would say the large majority are former exhibitors. Okay. And it's yeah. just something once it's in your blood, yeah. I think you just get so um, vested in that. And so the old timers, you know, they're in, the, it's actually a fundraiser for last night's fundraiser was for the Musselman FFA. So each one of the FFAs have some type of fundraising event while they're at the fair. This is a Musselman's, uh, the day before was Spring Mills fitting contest, which you were, all, were a yeah. part of, um, Martinsburg high school tonight. We'll do the cow chip bingo one of my favorites oh, i got popular. my i got my ticket i'm hoping that the cow poops on my square who wouldn't hey i mean that's it that's what you want you win the prize um and then i believe hedgesville ffa has their um what do you call the they have an amazing uh, booth in the commercial exhibitors that they uh, they have this black iron um i can't get, bring my words together they make all this decorative stuff Iron like, work? You're doing great. Are you talking about iron work? <laughs> yeah. Like railings and stuff no, like that? No. Like, if, like, like mine a, says home sweet home, and it's yes. made out of this black metal. Uh, metal. Yes. Oh, so okay. they have a shop there. Like in a blacksmith. Yes, and they make these beautiful Got it. pieces that artisan, you can purchase. Artisan, artisan. work. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you. I, I'm at loss for words today. <laughs> yes. um, to I'm here to help. I facilitate yeah, the you. show. And, what I I had, and I had no idea where you're going, Mary Beth. Yes. So. so that's their fundraiser. So it's nice. The Youth Fair supports you know those organizations. And speaking of that, last night was the second year that they did the Youth Bake Auction. And what happens there is the uh, 4-H groups and FFAs can choose to participate in this. It's an auction with an auctioneer, and he comes in and he auctions off these amazing basket uh, baskets of home-baked goods by the group that pr provided it with some other thematic items in it. The baskets went from 750 was the lowest bid to 2, 000, over 2000 per basket, and they raised $24,500. So, and that money goes to those organizations to help them with their members events and activities now we have a group of folks very community minded individuals that buy that that bid on the livestock okay is the same out of the same community is that the same group that bids on these baskets for the most part and i think like mikey was saying yesterday this also gives some others the opportunity um to maybe get in at a lower you know yeah. um investment because pretty much livestock you're not going to see anything go under 1500 so uh, you've got to come with you yeah. know those kind of dollars but definitely some of the same but, people were at that auction who just banks um i know bct bought two yeah. um and i saw uh pharmacies out there all kinds of businesses that we will also end up seeing sure. friday night because there's a that's a lot of money to go for a yep. basket mm -hmm. except right. unless it's, you're it's a sponsorship yeah, yeah, it's a sponsorship. yeah absolutely exactly. yeah. yeah mary beth can you run down today's schedule 
Yes. Well, right now we have the beef show going on. So that's a big one. And that will be going on. Literally, that is a big one, right? That's the biggest animal. Um, I'm trying to pull up uh, from our BCYF app. I hope people are using that. It's so helpful. But as I mentioned earlier, tonight's main event in the um, outdoor um, arena at the or at the track is the motocross. And we're really hoping people come out and try that out. We have poultry judging today. There's a horse show that's going on right now down in that horse arena. The Western and Gated Discipline is going on. Yesterday they had the horse costume contest. So we have <laughs> lots of pictures to share with that. Uh, oh, of course, it's Wednesday. It's the chicken barbecue night. So that's it. Four o'clock, and if you are a senior citizen, you can get in free up until five o'clock. I recommend, though, if you're coming for the chicken barbecue, you get there right at four and get in line because that will sell out, and that's a pretty big deal. Now we will be covering live starting at four, and I'm laughing because pig calling is tonight. Yeah. Who, who does <laughs> the chicken fun. barbecue? Which well. The Berkeley County Youth Fair has Youth, their okay, regular, yeah. um, they've been doing it for years and years. I'm not sure the names of the folks that, yeah. that they've already started. Those yeah. chicken are on the pits down there now, and they will cook all day long. But, yeah, so pig calling. Are you going to do pig calling? Um, we'll see. I'll probably be there. <laughs> pie eating. We have pie eating with the carnival, of course. We have the kitty pedal pool, so that's always fun. It's up top in, on the stage. They have these little tractors where the kids get to be involved in that. Are you doing that? I'm I mean, not, not doing that, but helping but, with it. Yes. I actually did that when I was younger, and I was pretty good at it. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And, no, of course, no. the cow chip bingo. You, you, you yeah. said today is senior day. You get in free for the whole fair or just a barbecue? No. you It's it's admission. It's the admission we typically would charge. If you're a senior, you would pay $7 to right. get into the fairgrounds to, to the have fair. access right. to everything. Got but it. you get in free. Now, the chicken barbecue, I believe, right, is right. like $8. I just wanted something. to get that clear yes, up. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Thank you. Haley? Do you know most of the kids who present and uh, are involved in the youth fair at this point? I believe so. I feel like there's a lot more that always comes in, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm starting um, to be more involved and in getting out of my comfort zone a little bit yeah. more. Um, but it's a great, I guess, family yes. to be around. Yeah. Um, everyone's so nice and everyone's so helpful. Yeah, what, and what age were you when you first presented at the youth fair? Nine. Well, showing-wise, but I was a clover bud before that through my 4-H club. So that's just attend the monthly meeting, and then you do like a little coloring activity mm-hmm. or something fun. <laughs> do you think you'll do this all the way through high school? Yes. Um, my sister actually did it all the way until she aged out and... She still, like, is still upset that she's not oh. showing anymore, and I feel terrible. Did but she do the old-timers yesterday? Sorry. She didn't, no. <laughs> uh-huh. um, but, yeah, very, very do, something. That do I'll you mentor through. any younger kids at this point? So, actually, I've helped with the Pee Wee show yes. the past three days, and... I was a little rusty from like <laughs> showing lambs, but I did help with that and I did pretty well. And then um, the Pee Wee show for swine was yesterday and that was super fun. It's so <laughs> neat. That's one of my favorite things too. I say everything's my favorite, but that is a highlight, I should say. Watching the Pee Wees, they go in and they do the show after the main show of the mm-hmm. exhibitors. And so they'll have the older exhibitors will take one of the youth who are too young obviously to to actually compete and they take them into the ring and they're like they're they're shadowing you know and so you see these these little itty bitty kids you know with these big animals and they go into the ring and they have like a Haley with them really just you know helping them showing them the way and it's a really fun event to watch and they actually all win something so like You can win a medal or that if you're in the top five, so like the final drive, they even have like a final drive. We'll be like, we'll Mm -hmm. keep this one back. Um, But they win like big trophies for the grand champion. And then you have the reserve champion and then third, fourth and fifth. So that's super exciting to see like the younger generation like already be involved, like their parents allowing them to show. It's so amazing to see that. We have a lot, a lot of younger people coming up. Yeah, I'm super Very excited. Nice. Have you met this that. Carly Hornby girl yet? <laughs> 
Have you ever met? It's Mike Hornby who owns the station. It's his daughter. She showed oh. lambs. She so, was reserve okay. champion. Yeah, yeah. first time okay. showing. She yeah. did amazing. Really? She started yeah. as, as a horse in the horse ring. She has a horse down there, and she shows down there. Um, she also had a small pet that she showed a couple, like two years, I think, her ferret, and one best of show there, I think. But, yes, so this year she entered the ring with a sheep. Really? And did really well, um, reserve. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, great to meet you, Haley. Yes. Uh, congratulations on all your success and continued success to you. Yes. Nicely done. Mary Beth, thank, thank you. you. Absolutely. I'll see you in the morning. Mary oh, Beth. actually, later today. Yeah, back on TV for us later today and back in the studio here tomorrow morning. Yes.